Anyways, normally we make fun of and roast things we see on Twitter uh, because people have like really bad branded takes. On them. I, I noticed that it's just like in real life and on Twitch and Facebook too. Like I think a lot of people just have like bad video game takes. Not even just fighting game, video game takes in general. I saw this this picture and it reminded me immediately that I had someone say that to me. That, like, Ken would probably be a, a complete character and wouldn't be mid-tier if he had an air fireball. And first of all, they said he was an incomplete character. And that got me. I was like, wait a minute, he's incomplete? Secondly, secondly, they said that he wouldn't be mid-tier. And I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa he's mid-tier? Wait a minute, what's going on? And then they said he needed air fireball i was like whoa and that's not a real this is not a meme post like i said the ridiculous buffs people ask for right and uh it's it, it's kind of crazy for like street fighter air fireball is really good like characters that have downwards aerial fireballs they can like use them to approach with so you don't have to deal with um generally with anti airs from your opponent right you can like stop your air timing by using air fireball or change up your air timing with something like a dive kick right um, so an air fireball for the showdowns would be fucking nuts in a game like Super. This is from like Marvel versus Capcom, or like I think it might be uh, Marvel Superheroes versus Street Fighter. I think that was the first time it was in MVC one, and maybe that. Uh, and of course, it wasn't as broken because there's so much other broken shit in that game, so it doesn't matter. But in Street Fighter, I'm gonna tell you now, this would absolutely dominate the airspace. In the right? And it got me thinking, why don't we either? Make up some crazy buffs for every single character on the Street Fighter 6 roster. Or, or, say some crazy buffs we've heard people tell us, or their character, how they would change. So I'm gonna go to the Buckler Academy page. We got it open. You guys can see it in my glasses, right? There it is. We are now on the Buckler Academy page, which shows every single character in Street Fighter currently. And we're going to just... We're gonna just like give every character something wild, right? I think that's the point. Like, we're not even gonna, we're not gonna give, we're not gonna kill Luke, Ken, JP, DJ Cam. We're not gonna kill them. We're gonna give everybody something wild. And I want the comments to chime in or the Twitch chat, but moreover, for the YouTube, the comments to chime in and get, give me your crazy buffs that you would give your characters or if you thought these crazy buffs weren't crazy enough, right? Like, I, I mentioned a buff for a character and you're like, not good enough. Bro should have had, Plus 19 on this, right? Okay, let's do that. So we'll start from the bottom. We'll start with Mr. Ryu himself, Mr. Vanilla, Mr. Street Fighter, Mr. Shoto Man, Shotokan Karate, the the um the only person to not be devoured by the Satsui no Hado or killed by their brother. Sorry, Goken. So, man, what would I give Ryu? Would I let? I think I would let Ryu keep Dingen Charge an additional time, right? If he charges Dingen. I think Ryu should keep Dingen Charge past the first one, right? Like, so he Dingen Charges and he gets a Dingen Fireball plus a Dingen Hashogeki, or he gets like two Dingen Fireballs or two Dingen Hashogekis. I think that that would probably be like crazy, right? Because then you could like maybe juggle with Fireballs or juggle like double juggle with Hashogeki. You could do like regular like a uh, Dingen Hashogeki and then like EX Hashogeki into like level two and sure you like that shit sounds hilarious. Like some uh, some DNF dual type shit. Loops, loops. Yeah, maybe it's not crazy enough. I don't know. Look, we're just we're gonna up off the top of our head, right? Unless there's something we've heard uh, that that we think is probably better because maybe I don't understand the character. Enough. Luke, Luke. Hmm. Are we buffing? Are we buffing Light Knuckle? I think we're buffing Light Knuckle. I think we're making Light Knuckle launch on mediums. Like if he uses a crouching medium kick or a crouching medium punch and he uses Light Knuckle and does the full charge, we're giving full charge faster timing so that you can launch off mediums. I think that's what we're going to do. It, that that actually sounds ridiculous, but that's what we're here for, right? We're here to just juice up all the characters even more so than they've already been, right? Sure. <laughs> I don't think it's a good idea, but that's what we're going to give him. Jamie's going to be a weird one, right? Because, like, everyone has, like, real buffs for Jamie, but I'm trying to think of something outlandish, right? Everyone's like, let him keep, like, two drinks after he... Like, the, the one I hear is, like, let him keep... If he makes it to three or four drinks, let him keep two, right? 
Or he makes it to like three drinks, let him keep one. Like, I've heard that, and I think that that's like a pretty fair buff. I think that's actually relatively reasonable. Like, I'll make it so you can combo off dive kick on EX, on normal hit, right? Like, on EX normal hit. No first? Yeah, uh, Mr. Sup got it. I wanna make his Rekka? I wanna make his Rekka have less recovery so that he can DI back. Kinda like if you do Jinrai really early on someone, you can like DI back his kin. I want that for Jamie. I want Jamie to like do first hit a Rekka and if someone's like mashing DI, he can like DI back. Maybe that's too much. Maybe that means like crouching medium kick Rekka is gonna be like the most oppressive dumb bullshit neutral. But it'd be funny. It'd absolutely be funny. It wouldn't even make him better because like I think the other buffs that people mention is better. Like make his, um, make his tornado kicks better. The thing that passes through fireballs. Um, Give Chun all normal cancels? That's an insane one. That's actually crazy. That's that's really criminal. No, I was gonna say make uh Hozanshu normal hit combo. Like it's an overhead special that you can combo after. So she has like really stupid mix, right? Like from full screen can mix you. Like if you're just like walking back and forth and you're crouching a lot to like beat crouching medium kick checks, she just like Hozanshu's you and then like combos you from anywhere on the screen. Like I want I, I when I say like I want, like, the light one, which is the least plus frames, to be, like, plus six. And then, like, the heavy one to be, like, plus, I don't know, like, maybe the light one, like, plus four, plus five. And then, like, the heavy one to be, like, plus eight. Make racism storm a special move? Holy shit, that's a good one. We'll get to Rashid. we'll get to Rashid. That's a good one. That's actually terrifying. I don't know if I like that. <laughs> we are buffing them to absurdity, right? Because, you know, we, you know, someone was like, give Ken air fireball. You know, if Ken has air fireball, he can make everybody else more burger. Someone said Ken would be a more complete character and wouldn't be a mid-tier if he had air fireball. Is where I got this idea from. I was like, damn. If Ken's mid-tier right now without air fireball, let's just juice up everyone. Hey, what up? How you doing? So, uh, next would be Guile. Hmm. Hmm, this one's tough because I don't want to give them any new I don't want to give people new moves. I just want to buff one of the moves or two, like, a, a move they have to, like, absurdity, right? So, like, Battle's Boom's already so pushed. Flash Kick's already really pushed. Do we make Back Light Kick, like, really Make Perfect Boom's very plus on block? I mean, they already are, aren't they? I, like, I thought, like... Also easier, oh, make the timing of Perfect Boom like really easy. Like the timing of Perfect Boom and like just across the board, they're plus four more. Yeah, so you can get like some really juiced up combos. I think that'd be really fucked up. It'd be really funny. It'd also make it harder to get, get in against him, right? Because if you block a boom, then he can move forward more because he's got four more frames. Oh, that's a good one actually. Yeah, that's real. I mean, a really broken one. <laughs> Kimberly, Kimberly, Kimberly. I'm trying to think of what we do to Kimberly. Give Kimberly an air dash? I, I don't know about anything that crazy. I was thinking make Kimberly's um make Kimberly's run like the run follow-ups make them safe. Make overhead and low from run both safe. Right? So like it doesn't matter which one you pick, you're guessing for your life and then you're guessing after too. Doesn't that sound funny? Like, so she can, like, full screen slide at you or whatever, and you have to answer it with, like, an OD reversal or uh, a DI, right? Like, if you try to answer it by, like, blocking it, like, guessing right, or, like, perfect period. But if you try to guess by just guessing right, you, like, you don't get a punish. Make it, like, head... Yeah, make them both, like, headbutt. Just make them safe. That's fucking genius. I think either that or give, like, EX run invul. I think maybe giving EX run invul is the more fucked up thing to do. That's probably way more fucked up, but we'll go with the first one. The first one's funnier. Y'all let me know if the EX run one having invul is probably better. It probably is. Jury, 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 jury. The foot lady. What do we get foot lady? Give her backwards moving dive. As she's jumping back, because currently dive kick you can only use while jumping forward. Make it so dive kick can be used while jumping in any direction. I know. I'm a genius. I think that would be the perfect buffer jury. I think she'd be a, she would no longer be a mid-tier. She'd be a perfectly complete, well-rounded, broken, ridiculous character. 
So someone mentioned like air fireball for Ken, and I don't think they were joking. This is a legitimate like conversation I had with a human being, not a robot. And I don't know about that. But I do kind of like the idea of them giving him the same thing Ryu has and making his like Tatsu projectile invul. Maybe make like projectile invul Tatsu or something? Maybe run Tatsu's projectile invul and then it combos? In medium Tatsu is now a six frame cross up? Cross ups aren't as powerful in this game because we have parry. That's why I'm not giving anybody any like dumb cross up bullshit. Because if you just parry, like, cross-ups are negated most of the time. Unfortunately. Oh, man. I don't... I don't know what kind of wild shit to think of for Blanca. This one's hard. Blanca's already such a funny character. Give him a third Blanca doll. How many Blanca chances does he have? Does he have two or three? Does he have two or three? I'm wondering what we give him. Blanca Ball cannot be parried? Make Command Grab unreactable? Actually, that's probably the best. Three per round? Okay. Now, four, see, four seems like too many. I don't think you need that many Blanca gems. I don't think that does anything. Yeah, like, make Command Grab actually unreactable. Make it like Manong Command Grab. Oh my gosh, I'd be so terrified. Yeah, let's do that. Let's give Blanca an 18 frame Command Grab. 18 frames. Is that too, is that too fast? Is 18 frames actually too fast? <laughs> oh well, that's what we're giving him. Sim. What are we giving Sim? Damn, I don't know. Ooh! What if we gave Sim invulnerability on his teleport? Make Dalsim level 1 travel the whole screen? Which one's level one? That's Inferno, right? So the one where he like blows the fire? You want that to go just full screen? I don't know if that makes it any more or less safe, you know? I think giving him like a really stupid, I'm getting out of jail for free card is probably more fucked up. So I kind of want to do that. I kind of want to do that. Yeah. Press a fireball level one. Sure, but I mean, it moves, Yoga Inferno moves really slow. It's still not like instant full screen Yoga Inferno. I think at that point, the buff I chose is better because then you can teleport the level one and you have invulnerability. I mean, you can teleport the fireball, have invulnerability and like punish them. And you can also use it as like a get out tool. I think mine's better. Boo. Having to spend meter? Boo. Having to spend drive? Honda, 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 Honda. Damn, Honda's funny because like butt slam's really good and headbutt's really good at like lower levels of play, and they they progressively get worse the better people get at the game and playing around them. Uh, he's got a really serviceable like solid anti air game with headbutt and with stand heavy punch, but like everything else, butt slam goes full screen. If he misses his butt slam and it hits the ground, it's an unblockable that you have to jump. Any <laughs> any objections to an unblockable sumo butt slam? Like his butt is so powerful that when he does it, make it negative edge with no miss frames. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look, man. I need you to get that Street Fighter 2 shit out of your head right. <laughs> Look, man. I didn't ask for this character to be a fucking war criminal. That is pretty juicy. That's actually crazy. If they made it negative edge and you couldn't actually miss it. I think like making butt slam an unblockable that if it misses, like say he steers it in front of her behind you and you try to parry it, and it misses you, you cannot parry, DI it, or block it. Like it just it's like just a knockdown that does like a small amount of damage. Like a like a fucking a rook uh air B or whatever. I think it's is it air B or air C? Whichever one it is. Yeah, air B is fine, so air C, except does damage, because you know rook. Oh man. Alright, he already has two fireballs. I think giving him a triple fireball would be fucking stupid. Fuck DJ Charge, we don't need that shit. Oh yeah, make all of his moves just up, down, or forward, back, right? I think... No, 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 like, look, look, can I, can I, can I interject? As a person who plays DJ, can I interject? Can we give DJ a command grab that's the same speed as his low 
in Sway. So as you're trying to react to the overhead and you're blocking for the low, you get command grabbed. Wouldn't that just be so funny? And like, say the the command grab is actually a launcher. Like he like grabs you and like knees you into the air like Law from from Tekken. He like grabs you and it's like he's like baby. We already have that. It's called Sway. Sway is not a command grab. You can just block all the options from Sway. So now when you're trying to block all the options from Sway, you just die. Make it launch it. We talked about some sand. Like it's a launching command grab. That's the same speed as whatever the low is. I think the low is like uh 12 frames, 13 frames. It's it's pretty it's pretty fast. It might be 14 or 15. Uh, but like the overhead's like pretty ho hum. It's like 20 frames or something. It's pretty slow. You can react to the overhead. So most people sit there for the low and then react to the overhead, right? So make the command grab the same frame. That'd be so funny with a very distinct animation, but same frame. I think that'd be fair. I think that'd be I okay. I don't actually think it would be fair, but it'd be funny. I didn't ask for fair. I asked for funny. Her haircut is so goofy. Nigga, her haircut is so goofy. Um, do we let? I'm wondering what we give Manon. I think I want to do something crazy. Buff her ass. Literally, I think we like make her stand heavy punt. I mean, her stand heavy kick. Her command grab is invul. Ooh, that's juicy. Invul command grab? Like strike invul or throw invul or both? The only thing it loses to is like projectiles or something? I'm kind of down for that. That's really funny. Yeah, make her command grab. Proje uh, strike and throw invul. Yeah, let's do it. That's fucking hilarious. Not even the, e maybe the EX one. <laughs> maybe the EX one. We'll do that with the EX one. Yeah, not the regular one. So give her a wake up option basically. Now she has a wake up. Cool. I think wake up command grab sounds kind of dastardly, TBH. I, I'm I'm down for it. That sounds funny. How do you even give Marissa something dumber than what she already has? Give her crouch heavy punch, juggle point like a juggle point on on normal hit, so she can juggle you off of her crouch heavy. I think that'd be fair, right? People like to jump at this character anyway because her anti airs are pretty bad. Like she has like very ho hum anti airs, and she like relies on armor. If you see her trying to use like an arm move, you just empty line to do her throw, you know? I think it's it's kind of a meaningful buff as like a joke, but it's also like ridiculous because now you actually just can't jump at this character. Then she crouch heavy punches you into like Superman punch or something, or like straight punch. That sounds funny. I think I think I'm down for that. Yeah, let's give her a uh, a juggle point on her crouch heavy punch. Honestly, dude, can we just skip JP? I don't think JP needs any buffs. Can we just skip JP? We're trying to do something ridiculous for every character. Like it would be, it, it would not be in the spirit of of skipping him. But like, I really want to. The only thing I can think of make JP more broken, challenge impossible, dude. Look, I can make him more broken. Look, we can we can break him further. This is a thought experiment. I think, dude, it's actually kind of hard. Do we make his his swipe? Do we make swipe like a normal hit launcher? Like if you hit with swipe, they they get launched, right? Instead of getting instead of like taking a knockdown and then on on like air you get a juggle just all the time. Now swipe is a juggle, like medium and light swipe are juggles because I think heavy was already a juggle because it wall splats. Yeah, I think I think that's the move. Let's just give him, let's just give him juggle property on a swipe one and two, like swipe medium, uh, light and medium. Two words for Zangief? If you say green hand, you're fucking stupid. We're not adding new moves to characters. No, we're not adding new moves. All these fireballs can cancel each other on hit. That's pretty funny. Like auto aims, like happy chaos. Make him an auto zoner. Make him an auto zoner. No, I'm not giving any characters new moves. I'm just buffing existing tools. No. Give EX Lariat round and vulnerability. Like actual strike and vol, but it's still no back hit box. Actually, nah, fuck it. We're going balls to the walls. Give him a back hit box on his Lariat and make it full strike and vol along with anti air property. And being, um, I think it's also already projectile and vol. I think we just buff Lariat, right? It's still unsafe. Zangief cannot normal grab. 
I'm not trying to nerf Zangief. No, I'm I'm buffing everyone. Everyone's getting buffs out here. I don't want to make Lily more one dimensional. I was thinking maybe we make like Condor Spire more plus, but it's already plus enough, right? Even with stocks. So I think what we do is we make um we make her Condor or whatever it is, the one where she goes upwards, the DP. We we give that one actual anti. -air. We give it real anti. -air. We make it a DP. We give her a just we just straight up give a fucking zoner. I mean a a grappler a DP. So we give her uh, anti air invul on the regular ones, and then full strike and throw ground invul on the the EX one on the OD one. Which honestly doesn't even seem like that bad of a buff. That sounds like a quality of life change. But it's the only thing I can think of for Lily. That's like kind of meaningful at the same time. Under anything hits three times naturally without dance token. See, that's really funny because then they all break DI too. But I'm just doing like one buff per, and I think like the DP buff is probably better overall. I think that's definitely better overall. Three hits is funny though. Three hits means... It's easier to drive reversal, but harder to drive impact. So it works against scrubs, no offense, but it's really bad against drive reversal. So I don't, I don't know how much that matters. Is why I'm not worried about it. Hmm. Once again, another character I honestly wish I could just skip because I think Cammy's toolkit is so well rounded. I honestly wouldn't know how to buff this character without just giving her something cheesy. Dive kick is plus? I, I guess, right? Like, that's the easiest one to just, like, make dive kick plus on block. Sure. I, and that might even be enough to, like, push her into the best character in the game category, which is really funny. Give Kami DP cancel property? Holy shit. We're playing, we're playing guilty here? She can drive rush her DP? That's crazy. DP drive rush? <laughs> dive kick plus is, uh, pretty funny. Okay. You joked about making racism storm a normal, like about making it a special move, and I'm not letting that shit. I'm not letting that shit fly. That's just actually insane. That's criminal. That's kind of criminal. I'm trying to think of something like reasonable that's still a buff, dude. There's so many counters to racism storm. Yeah, if it was a special move, it'd be harder to counter. Because it wouldn't get hit through by supers or anything. You know, that wouldn't fix it. That wouldn't fix it at all. You know, you wouldn't just, like, now just use a level 1 to get through it. Like a level 1 projectile super like Luke Super. Or, or, Dinjin Hadoken. A Dinjin Shinku Hadoken. Um. Rashid's fireballs now pull opponents in on hit or block oh that's kind of good like it's like a get over here yeah that's pretty good i think it'd be better if he could choose though right so if he's playing like versus the big bodies and the grapplers he could choose to like zone them out by like leaving them where they are and then like he could choose to pull in the not but not make his eagle spike safe you think eagle spike safe is a better buff than making his um Giving his the project, uh, giving his projectiles the utility of being the pull niggas in, because I think that's pretty funny. That's definitely a Kusoge ass buff. I kind of like that. As like a, as like a, a reasonable but like still kind of over the top buff. Aki. It's so hard to pick one specific thing for this character, because like she's so she's so lackluster. I'm not even like she's the worst character in the game. She's so bad. But she's so lackluster. So, like, what's the one thing you give her? What's, like, the one thing? Do we just make all of her poison attacks unblockable? Like, if a, if a move would poison, instead it just goes through block. And, like, poisons. But it doesn't, like... Make her poison stack? I'm thinking, yeah, like, either... Well, the problem is if you make her poison stack... Then she can't use the poison explosion to lengthen her combos is the problem. So I'm thinking like in neutral, if they don't have a poison stack on them, it just puts the, it applies poison on hit, applies poison on hit or block. Everything applies poison now on hit or block. That's, that's what we're looking for. Like all of her moves that would apply poison now do it on hit or block. 
That's what it is. There we go. So if you like block the fireball ender, or you block like one of her, um, I can't remember the name of the moves. It's like one of the moves she does where she does like the whip thing or whatever. And from a certain from certain ranges, it's safe. Like you can't punish it. If you block one of those, now you're poisoned. A hit or a block, which means the next hit you get, if you actually get a hit, then you get the the fucking poison stain burst, the stain state as it's called from fucking guilty. Gear. I think that's a good idea. I kind of like that. That's really fucked up, but I think it's funny. All of this came from me seeing someone say that this is actually a reasonable and like viable buff for Ken and that he needs it. Legitimately, and then there was copium in the in in my comment section. You know that they nerfed that air Hadouken. It doesn't go full screen and dissipates at a short distance. In Street Fighter, that would still be too good. Like this isn't Marvel. So this move would like this move could go one character length, and it would still be too strong for Street Fighter on Ken of all. For fuck's sake! <laughs> I think that's all the buffs I'm thinking of off the top of my head. Right? There was some that I was like kind of confused about. So anyone who watched it on the YouTube, go ahead and tell me like which of the two would be better. And and. If there's any other ridiculous buffs you would give your character. People said Ken needed buffs? Wild, yeah. Street Fighter 5 Akuma would like to have your location. Street Fighter 5 Akuma was broke, was ridiculous. He was one of the strongest characters in the game for a long time. Yes, Air Fireball, being really close range, was still fucking stupid. <laughs> yeah, you're agreeing with me. I know, that's what I'm saying. Like, it was still really stupid. Go ahead and, as I was saying, like the video. Subscribe to the channel. I'm almost at 500 subscribers. Comment down below if any of these ridiculous buffs weren't ridiculous enough. And if you have some buffs you'd rather give these characters, any of them, especially your favorite characters, of course. Duh. And, um, I've been beating thuggish for the YouTubes, talking about potential ridiculous buffs people ask for. Signing out and saying...